Blurred weather day. We have your reporters out in your community. Justin Adams, your reporter in Arapahoe County. He's out at the Aurora Public Library, just one of the several cooling centers being offered today. And your reporter in Denver is Kennedy Cook. She's out at the Denver Public Library this morning. So we start with Kennedy and Kennedy. These extremely, extremely high temperatures we're expecting the city of Denver stepping in to offer options to stay cool. Good morning. Good morning, Brian. A little trivia for you this morning. The last time the Denver had a stretch of heat this long was in July of 2012. Now, all week long, we've been sharing ways to keep yourself, your family, even your pets cool. And this morning, another resource for you all are cooling centers located in Denver. Denver Parks and Recreation will open all currently operating recreation centers as daytime cooling centers during regular business hours for people who need a place to cool down. Each center will have a designated area available for cooling with access to drinking water, restrooms, and a place to sit. Denver Public Library locations are also available as cooling centers. And here are a few to highlight. We have the Central Park Rec Center, Carla Madison Recreation Center, Montbello Recreational Center, and additionally, 2601 West 7th Avenue will be available on Sunday afternoon, July 14th from 4 p.m. until 8 p.m. as another cooling center location. Now, yesterday, I told you how hospitals are preparing for an uptick in patients with heat-related illnesses. Some tips that they shared with me that I'd like to share with you is you should have started hydrating yesterday, but if you aren't drinking your water, make sure to just wake up with us, have a glass of water. Also, to check in on those most vulnerable in the, our communities. Those include people working outside, EMS workers, and first responders. And if you don't remember any of these tips, please head to our website. That's cbscolorado.com, and we've got you covered. Live in Denver, I'm your reporter, Kennedy Cook, covering Colorado First. All right, Kennedy, thank you. We can